actually quiet, strong, and the key is a step up. I don't want to get away from John, though. John has some assets that are unbelievable. He thinks faster than most people. He gives a hell of a lot at all times. And I would just say this, that if it wasn't for him, a hell of a lot of us wouldn't be here. And we wouldn't have the memories that we have because he wouldn't have been around to make it work. So he's pretty special. I'd like to tell you a story. My last uh, thing here is I'd like to tell you a story of spirit by all our crews. An example of how the excitement of the moment can be a memory for life. The excitement of the moment can become a memory of a lifetime. This is one story amongst the countless others I remember, especially when seeing so many of you this evening who have contributed so much to the spirit and history of Penn Rowing. As many of you know, this story happened at the June Intercollegiate Rowing Association called the IRA Championship in Syracuse, New York in 1968. Just out of wild curiosity, how many in this room were in Syracuse in 1968? Raise your hand, please. How many? I see one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's six of you are here and you can refute everything I say but we want done. <laughs> one of the winners rowing duties at any regatta is to toss the coxswain into the lake. <laughs> and the lake was Onondaga. The winning crew also receives medals, plus the sweaty race shirts of the losers. If there were 20 schools in that particular race, the winner would get 19 sweaty racing shirts and a medal. Doesn't sound like much of a deal until you're there. The University of Penn fleet entered all the events offered at that IRA regatta, and one by one captured each race. The four with Cox was unofficial, but it started with that. The junior varsity, or what we call the second varsity, which had won their event four years in a row. Second and first frosh. The first frosh had six out of seven wins of the IRA, and the one in 68 was a powerhouse crew. And the varsity was the next up to race. This could create only the fourth time in 60 years of history of a true clean sweep of our opponents for the championships, as well as total team points for the James Tenike Trophy, which was the big point trophy. Just after the junior varsity winning race, all our crews began yelling from the shore, run up the broom, clean sweep, raise the broom to the roof, over and over. Why? In anticipation of a possible first varsity win, it could mean we could sweep. Go Varsity. Go Penn. Go Quakers. On and on and on. Only the University of Washington twice and Cornell and Navy ever swept an IRA regatta up to that date. It was an emblem of the top crew in the United States at that time. The Varsity heard those junior Varsity teammates calling to them. And they put the hammer damn well down and they won big. The first frosh and the junior varsity won so big it may have upset all of our opponents. We can't be sure. But one by one the winning coxswains were tossed into the water. Then a roar went up as the crews all threw their coxswains in at the same moment. This was followed by throwing in our three female managers. <laughs> as well as the five coxswains who have already been in the water twice. In fact, it was a bit crazy, and the photographers emptied their cameras. The oarsmen had gone out of control in happy laughter. At that point, they decided to all jump in. Finally, nearly 60 Penn athletes and coaches ran yelling down the victory ramp and across the docks, and the crews leaped in, carrying their protesting but smiling coaches, and over a thousand fans wildly screaming. Our two bus drivers, and, and he 
even some parents jumped in as is. Class was whatever. They were in the water yelling. And they were singing UP fight songs. Well, they were football songs, for God's sake. And all the rowers were singing them because they didn't have a rowing song. The stands were roaring. And that's on the water. It was pen rowing at its finest. The New York Times, that very hour, printed on the first page of their sports sections, the Penn Armada sweeps the IRA. And on the next page it said, Quakers raise the broom. Penn wins all gold, and of course, all the shirts. Forty-five years later, forty-five years later, these athletes, now accomplished in their fields of medicine, finance, business, etc., Remember and share that feeling of brotherhood and team spirit that they still carry with them each day. They remember each other as you have honored and remembered me here today. It's so special and I'm so thankful and warm. Rowing is the beautiful tool that we all use here. It is the glue that holds us here and proudly teaches us values for life. I thank you for this evening. This is indeed spirit. Our women and men can now equally benefit. We are all one team here, not segmented. Everybody is a team. If you turn where you're standing and look, the heads are all the way back and out onto the street. On behalf of all the Penn athletes, we salute the special donors that are here. There are people here that gave money without any kind of coercion without any kind of wheelie-dealie. They just wanted to help because they realized we were after something big for all of our students. We have good training now and good teaching. 